Fine people, yes, how are you? It's the Market Sniper. We're going to talk a small bit macroeconomic house prices, six straight uh, months on the downside. Um, and also uh, subprime cars. Yes, indeed, there's a subprime car dealer that's gone bankrupt. Lots are filling up. Um, we're going to talk about that, the economic effect of that. But in this, when we refer to the charts, we're also going to take a look uh, at two automakers um, and we're going to highlight uh, the the industry that is blooming and blossoming right now and we have uh, one particular interesting uh, equity that I'll tell you about and one that's in our community uh, that we're very excited about that I won't tell you about but we're going to give you a lot right here uh, and talk about it some more so let's talk about the effect of housing prices so in the US um, housing prices have gone down for the sixth straight month so we'll take a look over here you can see it in zero heads the chart that has a real marked effect in fact it looks very much like you've done the classic old round tripper that was brought about by the five trillion here you were march 2020 events pop goes the weasel all the way up all the way back down the problem is you now have the wrong kind of momentum and that's to the downside plus you have an interest rate cycle that is being tightened with the further prospect for more rate hikes to come fine people more rate hikes to come in fact the ppi so we've had let's talk about this the soft landing hard landing no landing brigade um, everyone started the year after china reopened uh, U.S. inflation numbers came a little bit down um, and Europe didn't switch off the lights uh, for winter. Super optimistic. There was lots of talk about soft landing. And then the, the talk started to go, no landing at all. You were going to just jet right through. No landing required. And then boom, with a bump. Uh, and this is what we've continued to warn with the bond markets, my friends. With the bond markets, it's quite clear that we have turned, uh, in our view, as we said in August, March 2020 and we are still seeing in tweets today as everybody gets shock horror oh my god we have just had a surprise amount of inflation showing in spain in france uh etc in europe that's right the debt markets turned we say inflation is still coming in hot in europe rising to a new record in france this month and unexpectedly re-accelerating in Spain. That's right, the money markets don't... Uh, look at that chart. Looks like a hockey stick to me. US two-year yields are hovering at about the highest they've been since 2007. It's also being reported there uh, from the Bloomberg screen. Uh, traders are cranking up Western and uh, European central bank rates uh, after higher wages. Uh, and, in and uh, Spanish inflation. So you're hearing all of this news coming in during the course of uh, today on top of what was already happening on the US side that was recently driving the dollar that saw the dollar appreciate up against the Korean one. So this is your macro te technical and we will be looking at stocks and equities as well but it's very important to understand where we are. So in this environment you're going to have the eurozone that's going to be continuing to hike rates quite substantially. You've got clear evidence that PPI was too strong last week in the Americas uh, and North America is going to continue to pump up the rates. So it wasn't, the to everybody's been playing the call of the top on inflation. And as we continue to reiterate, it's a monster that needs to be killed small. You never killed it when it was small. It's far bigger. And you will have false dawns uh, where you think that's it and it's done. And then you're going to get another surge and knock on effects. This is exactly how it comes. It comes in waves after waves after waves once you've let it get out of control throwing five trillion into the retail market and everybody ignores of course that the events of march 2020 was a massive bailout of the banks that went well through 20 trillion so here's the classic case of while dining out on rum steak and foie gras and red wine they threw a lollipop to the retail market uh, they were gorging themselves no doubt those banks on derivatives uh, needed credit suisse taking up to 3.69 uh, trillion let's just re-emphasize with a, uh, a t now billion dollars is a lot by the time you're taking nearly four goddamn trillion to a single bank and of course jp morgan all of them were gorging in and around 
around the three trillion mark as well. So that is the background that you're in. And that's inflationary, friends. Bad news. It's inflationary. And it doesn't go away. And that is the end because that money is borrowed into existence. That money will not get paid back ever. This is why the debt markets are in decline. You have the Japanese that are going to be no longer able to continue to do what they've been doing on their 10-year. That was allowed to pop from 0.25 to 0.5, uh, so 50 basis points, and expectations are more of that to come. So otherwise, the currency, of course, will get obliterated. Already they're deeply concerned. The Japanese own over 50%. I can't remember which category they own almost 50% of everything. Um, and that's a problem when you become the buyer of last resort. That's right. Demographics don't work in their favor in terms of all of those things. So this is what's going down in the macro world right now as we chat about all of these amazing events in the broken zombie economy that is our current realm. So let's take a look at a little bit of the stock markets. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk to you about um, the fallen angels that are the mega cap tech equities. That's right. So I'm going to remind you a little bit about the likes of Amazon. I'm going to get and give you a view on our friend uh, Google as well. So here's Amazon. This is our head and shoulders um, that we called some time ago around about David Hunter calling for the market to go up 60% in four months. Um, and our warning around exactly that. You had head and shoulders, of course, also on all the three indices, all of which have made. I will flash remind you of that. So Amazon, remember, retail buyers. Well, retail ain't doing so good anymore. There was your entry. There is a target run. You've got a rally up to neckline and you've gone lower still. So even entry level technical analysts will talk to you about lower lows and lower highs. Big shooting star there and here you are sitting. It is tough old times in the one world order online retail store. That's right. They had the bottomless overdraft to keep developing their business when they never made profit for decades. And then they became the biggest and bestest and greatest thing on retail heat, which is no longer there. What do we think is happening for Google? Well, Google, let's show you what we got there after we've wiped our face. Um, and Google for me is in a broadening structure. It's in a deflationary period. It's dis it's losing value. Let's just keep it simple and not get too clever with the linguistics. It's losing value, in our opinion, at quite a substantial rate. I'll go with a three-day chart, give you a bit more uh, view. These are generally downside structures. You can see Google over here, Bob, breaking the grind line down. Also, here, breaking it down. Another little flag breaking it down. And now it's in a broadening structure leaning over there. Look at this volume, good friends. Histo volume. We tend to keep our volume analysis inside our community, but I'm going to give you a small little peek on just basic histo volume, not volume by price. And I'm going to show you a little bit on the OBV, how this has just been a net distribution and that was your peak height. We'll show you a couple of things on OBV that help you with direction as part of a little bit of a learner uh, over here. Yes, you got a little bump there all the way back down. Look at the scale of that volume. Now, that would have been disappointment on earnings. Disappointment on earnings. Disappointment on earnings. Oh dear, oh dear me. Disappointment on earnings. So after a run of delightful events where earnings were all just love and light, suddenly you started to get uh, a fact that they didn't meet the whisper number. They met the number but not the whisper number. See those red candles? Gap up, smash down. That set up when you are no longer meeting the expectations, showing an early sign of fatigue. Equities are driven by earnings. Yep, and you can see from technicals how they're behaving. So this has generally been quite a poor thing. Hey, SMEs use AdWords and all of these things, and they are getting mullered. Online ads getting mullered. What do you think? <laughs> Who has all the money? You've given it to the megacorps and you've stripped and destroyed a large part of small and medium sized businesses with all your globalized shenanigans. But this is the one I love 
most. This is a bear call that I think even you will love, even if you hate the shorters. That's right. Who are we talking about here? Our very special friend in the pharmaceutical realm. Let me find him. There he blows. There he blows. So what did we call inside our community round here? We called the head and shoulders on. You guessed it. Boom. Chakalaka. Our Israeli friend, Baller, who's such a nice guy. Um, and his miracle cure that has done wonders for humankind and excess deaths recently. That's right. Uh, so you have Pfizer in what is, uh, in our opinion, a head and shoulder structure. And I also want to highlight here directional aspects. You've got to think about reputational damage in terms of what these people have uh, done. The peak was over here and you can see again distribution on the on balance uh, of volume. That means lots of red days, uh, even on the big days, red days. The bounce is weak here. You continue to skid. This was a little bit less frenetic to the upside and you're now on new lows. That is on new lows, taking out the previous lows. And you have triggered a potential left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Who knows what may still, maybe there is still some degree of justice in terms of everything we've spoken about, but it could indeed see yours honorable. By the way, many of these things I may already have positioned. So we have puts uh, from slightly higher up on Pfizer and we're delighted to see the key neckline of 42 met there met there be broken to the downside we're on a three day it happened a couple of days ago it started to slip slip spill it went really low vol there Ooh, just before puke and we love it uh couldn't happen to a nice uh, a nice bunch of thugs he says which is a combination of nice and nasty uh anyway so that is the pharmaceutical industrial complex uh weaponization of choice the old school military industrial complex however is doing rather well unfortunately yes rather well uh you'll see if we go and have a look at our list over there that a lot of them are close to recent highs so if we show you Lockheed Martin, uh, let's take the eyes off and keep it nice and clean and tidy. You can see pretty close to nearly all time highs. Very, very close. A little bit of a rollover now running into some technical resistance, but has recently from December through to recently been pressing up on new all time highs. Have a look at this on a monthly time frame to know where all the money is being made. This is where this is the technology of military that filters down everything you use in your home on your mobile device was first uh, incarnated in the military industrial complex the dark state uh, and as a result these are the equities that are doing rather well in these times uh, donating all that about to expire ammunition and no doubt having governments fill in new orders for fresh there is a shelf life even for ammo by the way um, so you can see quite a few of the military industrial complex whoop, uh, up like a Saab and a rectile projectile. I kid you not. It doesn't come any harder and truer than that. She'll love you long time. Uh, that is Saab right there. Oh, another military industrial complex player on the monthly chart. Playing catch up almost for lagging Lockheed Martin. Well, that's some catch up it's had recently. You could have had this stock for $203 in February 22. Six. Oh, 06. Let me just say that again. You essentially have tripled. You essentially have tripled. Let's be clear. Since February 22, in one year, a large cap stock has tripled in one year. And I tell you, there's an escalation to come in this war, and I've been saying it for a while. And people, uh, you just have to look at the equity markets. You just have to look at the equity markets. The people that make the decision about whether there's truly going to be a peace are showing you where they're putting their money, and they are buying arms. They are having uh, companies that create and make arms go on up. Let's have a look at Rayathon. Very close to uh, all-time highs. Had a uh, snapback recovery following the events. Don't forget the events of March 2020 at $40. Now 98.52. 
still strong and don't forget from whence he comes all the way down northrop grumman look at you you dirty little dog of death there you go all the way uppity uppity up was at 556 not very long ago that was october 22 look at this curve you could have had this at 64 dollars in 13 now hitting 550 trading 464 today what in 2013 a $50 stock now a 450 plus you're talking about a 9x is it a 9x 9 9.5s nine or 45 last time I checked you've got change since 2013 and if you took it from recently more recently 21 March of 21 you've gone from 290 to 464 again you're looking at another 60 70 percent in a very short time frame um, so the biggest beneficiaries of the events of March 2020 apart from the banks that got their derivative positions bailed out are in fact you guessed it the new new game following the last game that was the lockdown um, you now have the money pouring into the military that is where it is going fine friends we have subprime cars at the moment let's toodle on down and change tack now we spoke of bmw over uh, other brands in fact we have a structure over here we did give you a small little look see of it and you can see since we gave you that as an update it is progressing well it was a breakout on our call around about the 80s and is a 97 and we called for 116 that remains however at the same time we have a look at ford ford in the states of course selling mainly trucks nowadays uh, i think they refocus quite a bit and here's an example of on balance volume the value of this so hopefully you're learning take notes get a pen look into my eyes look into my eyes we ask you for nothing we say learn along with us become a better trader this key level over here for me could potentially be at 11 and a half a head and shoulder uh, it could potentially be a uh, head and shoulder it doesn't mean it has to be you have a descending triangle with a very flat base over there sometimes these bump upside but in the current environment of raising rates the american consumer very focused on payment and not actual purchase price and financing plus as i've mentioned subprime market uh, we've already had one dealer going bust that's a bit of extra stock that's going to be finding its way into the market let's go log scale now um, we can have a look at this so could it be if we have a demand destroying event the trucks don't show up and that you get a sell-off in earnings all the way through five dollars is he saying five dollars from 12 big old ford who knows who knows it could be it could be um, that is where we would probably shoulder this is your right shoulder uh, and that is a level that we think was very much a neckline at 1150 over there that is the target generated by that if financing becomes a lot harder to do in an environment that housing is going six months down in prices and there's a contagion the inflation rates the inflation rates we never spoke of the inflation rates shadow stats shadow stats is your friend alternative statistics let's have a little look at uh, shadow stats cpi cpi i i say it along with me i love those I've, I've got an instagram habit for these husky dogs that howl when they're having baths you know it's like they're scraping them like, woo, 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 woo. i've got my own little howl uh, i love watching him he's a good boy anyway shadow stats back to the story at hand uh shadow stats shadow stats so where's it all gone so the, just to remind people what you're actually looking at when we're looking at the shadow stats so in essence in uh, ronald regan's roughly 82 i think it was uh, the the number that was inflation as per that calculation of those products they change the basket that way they can mask inflation you see it's a psychological trick they can tell you there's no inflation you find it expensive but you keep behaving as if it's no inflation and you put it all down to yourself you're just not earning enough you should work harder and you take it all on the chin psychologically if everybody knows there's inflation it causes more reaction to the inflation people hoard because money is less so they want to fool you into not behaving like that and just thinking it's kind of tougher for you you need to do more yourself it's all on you 
But if everybody starts to realize that they've been consumed by the inflation genie, that 25 trillion odd to the banks and 5 trillion thrown in here or there, half of it going to the Kennedy and all quangos for politicians and the re a little bit thrown to the peasants. That's right, you end up with inflation. So this is the divergence of their measure, the BLS, which they're going to call the CPI.U, that is sitting here telling you you're roughly in the sixes, mid sixes level in the States, when in actual fact you've run through 15. So to be clear, by Shadow Stats' reckoning, the current inflation rates is, exceeds the Volcker. Let me say that again. The current inflation rate exceeds that that was in and around the 80. 82 era. Here's 1983, my friends. You're talking about 1980, 81, 82. You were just sub 15. Maybe you traded through it. This has exceeded it. You are at Falker levels, but gold and silver not doing quite as much as it should. The lie is being hidden. The stats are being hidden. And as a result, the manipulation in the metals markets is going on. We will show you an equity. And as I say, you can come and find our best trade in our community if you wish by clicking on the first link right there in the description, the very first link below in the description if you want to have a chat and talk about your trading and investings and find out what our secret best trades are currently. Um, so all that said, shadow stats, divergence, divergence, you can see it quite clear. The real, st the real inflation is far higher than they tell you. Central banking cartels rob your wealth through a process of debasement of your currency. Simple fact are absolute, absolute, incorrigible, unquestioned fact, and they've recently debased your buying power substantially. Compound that. One of the seven wonders of the world was Warren Buffett. He called it the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. Compound a losing side. They put you on the wrong side of a compound interest equation. That's what I've been saying before and I will say uh, again. So you've seen Ford and BMW. You've seen Amazon and Google and you saw our lovely friend Pfizer where we hope and pray that the good Lord brings forth the karma in most a lusty fashion such that viagra product is no longer required in any level or any of the other products dare we say hee ho don't worry love you'll just feel a prick anyway let's get back to the small cap energy so we have over here a little bit on the small cap energy side we were looking at joy and we spoke by the way on this small cap energy discussion uh, in fact step back energy discussion first of all with josh young he put joy on my uh, radar and uh, sandwich energy focused on small energy cap go and watch that uh, video lots of other reasons why small cap energy is of interest to him and joy was one of those that i picked out that was potentially becoming technically interesting for us and could in fact be doing a wee triggering in momentum so you can watch that along with us uh, as it goes i'm glad for him that that one's going along i understand it's a portfolio holding of his so that was uh, joy bear it in mind speaking of energy an important and a very enjoyable for you you will find over here the entire tale we've gone to great detail of the great oil uh, short and all the things that happened this case study that we've done across an entire timeline of various chart images we took when we first started mentioning that it would be a sell a prelude to the crash this video was in august this particular legacy history that we had on oil short calls it was our second macro major technical oil call uh, on oil come and see it there see the charts what we learned there's a bit of an obv lesson in that in fact that image appears even in our training materials that we take great efforts in doing and that are absolutely awesome recorded with unbelievable how's the audio guys come on listen to this hit the puppy licks button if you dig the audio right now the lighting the studio and everything we go to great efforts to record to a very high standard that one chart you'll actually see in the materials planes all american individual equities what we saw what levels proof the aramco drone strike how the news came it actually shook us out of the trade that you'd think it's easy being um, 
accurate on a macro big call that was an absolute capture amount suppose it oh we won't be able to provide little bump of oil took out a technical level we put the trade back on subsequently as it sold back off you can see the detailing in the charts join us with all the individual uh, it's almost like watching a movie it's almost like watching the big short the link for this narrative is fascinating and interesting i defy you not to enjoy learning and watching some of the videos by uh, just by following it all including Including CCL Carnival it's not recovered my friends we can go and have a look at it today the setup on Carnival and why it was in deep deep trouble it sounds like a Bart Simpson story doesn't it uh, how it all came back with the forward look charts that we believed were going to transpire then with the subsequent breaks look at those breaks guys I remember that triggering event it was just like literally all in a single day it was just plummet Mac plummet oh you couldn't throw down any harder uh, some of the videos that were updates during that period and why also it was a gold long the thinking and why by watching this this will help you make macro technical calls of your own it'll teach you the value of 360 degree uh, analysis where you can see technically some things in equities some in commodities that were all part of one huge big macro narrative story this is a true true trading events and being on the right side of geopolitical events um, via applying all the techniques techniques that you will learn if you click the first link below and you become part of our community it was also the big listing wasn't it ironic that Saudi Arabia <laughs> wanted to share the wealth with the benevolent so benevolent to the citizens for the very first time are tired of cutting their heads and bury burying um, you know women up to the, their heads for uh, teenage pregnancy and uh, having them stoned all of that stuff no 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 we would like to share the wealth here bag holder sort please before the big crash here we go citizens give us your hard Learned that we've already taxed the bejesus out of you we now want you to hold the bag so that we can buy it all back from you when it's dropped 90 percent thank you very much one of the largest ipos the narrative the timing what happened yeah the oil thing that's right the tweets of the time the story follow it it is so educational planes all american i enjoyed re-watching it i was like it was part it's like it's a bit of narcissism it's like oh i'm an extra in that video a little bit it's pretty about the hairstyle but nonetheless good good on you old boy <laughs> so that was the u.s indices higher yes go and follow it the gap the big events this was in south africa we're in zimbali oil gaps down on the open after the failure of russia and opec to reach production cuts boom i remember that sunday and how that market opened it was unbelievable narrative and story oil plunges 24 percent for worst days since 1991 you've forgotten these headlines it's all storyboarded here with videos oil crash sends new shock through world crippled by the word you may not say yes all of that oil crash target made on planes all american we called an 85 percent plus market cap saying hi from warm durban watch it all there's puts there's actual p l's there's everything in there knock yourself out on the updates everything it was and why and the key epilogue of the story was the snapback rally you will get next call three digit oil we said there is the youtube because all the offshore oil got switched off and then everybody got came back out of their homes and went back only now you've turned all the supply chain off you have made it impossible you've squeezed uh, businesses to the wall they haven't invested now for two years etc etc so the falling wedge and the subsequent by the way this chart was the top call of the subsequent rally so after saying it would rebound to three digits we went back to highlight to you that this is a broadening structure yes and you had an extreme exhaustion gap that's typical that's typical of the capitulators forcing their way into the market near the top one more marginally higher high just sub 130 my friends we said short here if you want to wait a little longer you can short there we haven't gone back since let's go and take in the oil so that you too can enjoy it's an amazing story of just 
market trading market trading in the game and recognizing that what overperforms to the downside will also in time uh, overperform to the upside there's that high my good people 129 you saw it on the lower time frames just where we where we explained it to you this is on the daily that was on the lower time frames you saw the 129s high being made we have not gone back since that was your top call that was the basing ascending grind line that confirmed it that was your initial short the super tight volatility along a splitter of a broadening structure you won't learn that anywhere else unless you come to the HVF method house of pain and learning and joy and rapture these are the times and the seasons for great rapture my friends laugh your way through it's the best it's good for your mental health and make some money buy yourself some freedom and enjoy being part of the market major market moves in key commodities that are happening as they are happening um, that's right so well grindy 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 little round turn up and back down uh, of volatility for a final high grind grind and spill exhaustion 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 and we haven't actually got anywhere close to the 100 cent for quite a while now we're chuckling along in the mid 70s and that is uh, the oil markets good i'm going to show you one other why not let's give you a bonus tell me if you're enjoying yourself i'm enjoying myself but i you know i tend to always anyway life is short enjoy enjoy the ride he says let the markets make you wealthy we know on energies that natural gas we also called that that uh, head and shoulder has indeed made its target and you've overperformed you've actually had a final capitulation on gas by the way uh, and i would say that you've had a little bump now uh, which probably points to the easy money to the downside already being made did you trade it did you trade it did you see this obv look at it puking like that wow that is just awesome now so low lower volatility we'll teach you how you can use that obv go look at that case study the link is in below the macro case study it is the top pin comment go and watch the case study read a story follow the story from start to finish where we are essentially blogging our way through our trading experience with videos charts screenshots and actual trades actually taken um, that you can see and be part of and remember and that is a great learning experience because i'm here to tell you that set of geopolitical circumstances are going to occur again just a different way just a different thing and right now part of that is what's going on in the military industrial complex and i have an amazing mid military industrial complex that is going to go up substantially that is not part of this video but my community will be well informed on it apart from BAE that I have already shown you and how far is BAE going to go just to give you an idea on BAE let's go back back to the military industrial I don't think I went right up to the ultimate highs so the one I want to take you to is the US based one in fact my apologies this is the plc is the uk because it is in fact a british company um, so i'm showing you now a different chart of the same company this is the one was in pounds and the other was in dollars we're now back to blighty that is in pounds this is a macro that we feel will be made by this stock in short it's 44.20 now i think it could come a little down we see it running through 86 81 dollars Oh, it's never felt so good. The napalm. The napalm of death and destruction has never felt so good. It's criminal. It's the worst industry to be making money. But hey, they've ended the, you know, the pharmaceuticals uh, go as an industrial complex. And now we've gone back to good old faithful dark state and war. And I sense and I fear that this will be doing exceedingly well. So target through 86.81 uh, in our overall view. Uh, could it dip a little first? I would not necessarily rush right in that was a monthly you can see it's had quite a good run and a little bit of a gap down over here today um, I would look to pick it up on the lower end now there's another and you don't get to see that one but if you're coming on board you might just indeed and you click that first link in the description to book a call to find out more about what we're doing at the end of the day you want to build skills and make some money and we have got a community of people focused on finding and applying that which we look for most which gives you 
height risk and expansive reward whilst I keep an eye on the macro geopolitical to try see where the big trends, which direction is the money flowing so that we can catch the best waves. You don't even have to be an amazing surfer. You just have to wait and be in the right wave. Plus, you're going to learn the value of the Hunt Volatility Funnel Method. The macroeconomics are pretty weak in my view. The tightening of interest rates is going to further hurt retailer. retailers. Look at that Amazon and that Google chart for understanding particularly Amazon, how the US retailer is feeling. Think about subprime car maker uh, funders going bust and the, the glut of stock. Texas, uh, Texas, Tesla doing some uh, discounting. Uh, think of all of these things, these consumables that are usually non-essential uh, purchases, how they are doing six months in a row of downside housing prices. Yes. Uh, and then you see the leaks that are now almost mainstream on everyone's Facebook feed surrounding the events as Rand Paul is pushing for the disclosure of the Wuhan leak, etc., etc. How do you think that plays out for Pfizer in terms of reputation and in terms of brand on a head and shoulder? I don't know. I, I know what I wish for. You know what I always get? This is just a small anecdote. I always get people once they've come on board. Man, there's way much more done to a far higher standard than I thought. People think they're joining a Telegram group. You know, that's just like, it's just, oh, okay, let's create a Telegram. Let me get my device. Let me make a Telegram group. Oh, yeah, Francis's thing. No, 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 no. This is our own bespoke platform. Everybody said the same. I just had another person come on board and he's saying, wow, I mean like an app, your own app, this, that, setups that I can watch, different chat groups. And it's not like discus or these things that you can't find. And there's every clown with emojis splurging over the way, professional, slick, everybody focused, high standard, high quality of people. Yes, that's right. On your device, on your desktop, uh, where we are talking about and updating regularly with video rich media contact charts and learn the lingo and the jargon and how things roll in terms of HVF method man you're going to be surprised yourself if you do and if you're not you've got 14 days to cut and run no questions asked until next time I'll see you then uh, don't forget watch that macro oil it's such an awesome story and we're looking to write new stories right here right now until next time I'll catch you later bye for now